One question I get a whole lot is why isn't Kakashi married and why doesn't he have any kids? During the 15 years between the end of Naruto versus Sasuke and Sarada meeting Orochimaru during Naruto Gaiden, Kakashi was never shown with the wife and kids. Well, in today's edition of Naruto 101 after Naruto Shippuden, I'm going to be telling you guys the story of Kakashi's lover who Kakashi met just before he became the Six Hokage formally. A little over a year after the end of the fourth great ninja war despite having already agreed to become the sixth hokage and even exercising the power of his title to push to have sasuke being released with the help of naruto uzumaki of course kakashi kept postponing his ceremony to officially release tsunade of the position of hokage via the ceremony now i know that naruto shippuden anime gave us a scene with kakashi wearing the hokage garb and taking over for tsunade but like was often the case for the naruto anime and the naruto Shippuden anime. This is anime only filler that was mixed into the canon that doesn't mesh with the official source material. In 2015, as the second release of the Naruto New Era project, which was meant to continue the story of Naruto after the manga ended, with the very first release being the film Naruto The Last, the Kakashi Hiden novel became the second installment of the project, tasked with filling in the massive gap that existed between chapter 699 and chapter 700. After Naruto had already gotten his replacement arm and wrapped up an extended mission with Sai, one that took several months, almost a year to finish. Kakashi is set off on one final mission before he can become the Hokage, and it would be here that he would meet the woman who was eventually still his heart. It was on this mission that Kakashi was supposed to guard the first flying airship in the Naruto universe, protecting the numerous wealthy clients who were flying on it. However, things quickly take a turn to go south when mercenary ninja take over the aircraft. It's right when this happens that Kakashi is trapped in a tightly confined space with a woman named Kayo, who unbeknownst to Kakashi was the ice style user who was a key member of the armament alliance that takes over the ship. When Kakashi first saw Kayo, the mutual attraction between the two was pretty clear. Obvious enough that even Tazuna told Kakashi that when a woman who looks like Kayo shows interest in you, that it's best to go ahead and settle down, all while reminding Kakashi that he isn't getting any younger. After Kakashi fends off several ninja, Kakashi is confronted by Kayo, and in a battle that sees Kakashi fighting with her in a battle that spans from Taijutsu to Kakashi using purple lightning at some point, Kayo catches Kakashi off guard. Kayo uses her deadliest attack to trap Kakashi in a block of ice, but this isn't an ordinary block of ice. This jutsu is specifically meant to seal the person's movements and chakra and freeze them to death instantly. The only reason Kakashi survived is that he somehow managed to summon an enormous amount of chakra right when the jutsu was hit to constantly run lightning all throughout his body to counter the effects of Kayo's jutsu. But as his chakra began to run low, Kakashi's body slowly begins to enter into a hyperthermic state. It's while Kakashi is struggling to stay alive that he learns why Kayo had fallen so far. During the fourth great ninja war, the feudal lords of all the ninja nations had removed every doctor from every village inside of each of the great nations. These doctors were meant to offer support to the ninja alliance and to the medical ninja from each of these villages to help in the battle against the Akatsuki. It was during that time that Kayo's son became sick, and with no doctors in the Land of Ways where they were currently staying, Kayo watched her son die from an illness that even the most novice doctor could have cured. Losing her son led to Kayo joining the mercenary group that sympathized with Madaru Chiha's dream of creating a world without winners and losers. After after Kakashi hears the details of Kayo's life story and then the tragic story of how she lost her son, Kakashi is at a loss for words and briefly begins to doubt if being the Hokage is the right choice and if the ninja system is indeed correct. Once Kakashi frees himself, a brief skirmish ensues, but Kakashi and Kayo are now in the Armstrong limit, which is the point where you're high enough that bodily fluids begin to boil. The two star-crossed lovers begin to work together. Kakashi and Kayo quickly get to the end innocent passengers and get them off the aircraft. But once Anoiki and Kurosuchi appear to offer their aid, Kakashi turns down their help and remains determined to put the aircraft safely onto the ground instead of blowing it up like Anoiki wanted, which would have resulted in Kayo's death as well. Kakashi takes it 
advantage of being so high up in the air and jumps through the hole in the airship to fire off purple lightning with the last remnants of his chakra with the hopes of inducing rain, which would be enough to allow Kaio to use her ice jutsu in combination with the moisture in the air created by the rain. After she's able to use her ice jutsu in a way that steers the falling airship into a safe place to land, Kaio is facing execution for her crimes and for being part of the Armament Alliance, but Kakashi immediately steps in and tells Tsunade that he will formally become the Six Hokage if Kaio is spared and allowed to live. At the end of the novel, after Kakashi is publicly mocked by Naruto for how he fell in love with Kaio and why Kakashi finally became the Six Hokage all over a woman, Kakashi is seen reading a letter from Kaio and it's revealed that Kakashi not only continued to stay in contact with her, but Kaio helped him understand what Tsunade spent almost a year trying to teach Kakashi that not having the Sharingan anymore and not being the most powerful person in the village doesn't make him unworthy of being Hokage, but instead it's his compassion for others and his desire to protect innocent people and to nurture the next generation that made him worthy of this title. Now, like I talked about in a few other videos, this was something that was never adapted into the Naruto Shippuden anime when the Naruto Hiden and Naruto Shinden novels were adapted by Naruto Shippuden and it's an absolute saint. While this isn't the best written novel in my opinion, it's one that's critical for the development of Kakashi's character and shows us sides to his character that we hadn't seen before. It would have been really nice to see this in the anime, but Studio Period chose to give us the boyhood filler arc and the infinite Tsukiyomi dreams filler instead of adapting the novels that filled in the information via the time skip. So what did you guys think about Kakashi's love story? Let me know down in the comment section below. But as always guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Have an incredible day, guys.